Hello and welcome back. This is video number four and we're going to talk about how to edit the product settings and of course how to create a product. It's super easy. All you have to do is go under products, which is normally under WooCommerce. So it's this section here and right here you'll see all products. So if you created products, you'll see all of them here. At the moment we have no products so that we see create product. So add new is similar to create a product, categories, tags, and attributes. Now in the future videos, I'll talk about categories and tags, and of course product attributes as well. But for now, let's just talk about and focus purely on these two right here. So to create a product, there are two different ways. You can either import them by utilizing this. Let's say for example that you have 100 different products and creating individual products over and over and over again is just going to take a lot of time. So to do that, you can either click create product or start import. I'm going to go ahead and click create product, but I also opened a different tab with the import products here. Now, as you can see here, this says this tool allows you to import or merge product data to your store via a CSV file or a spreadsheet file. So as you can see here, all you have to do is populate it, import it, and you're good to go. Now I'm not going to focus a lot on this. This is more advanced. What we're going to do is go back over here and create a new product. So this could be, let's say book one. And then what you want to do is you want to add your description here. And ideally, put them in bullets, bulleted points or number bullets, whatever. So something like that. And of course down here, you can actually put the price. So it says product data, simple product. So if you're just adding one product, it's going to be a simple product. If you have a group of products, it's going to be this one here. Now you also want to specify, is it virtual or is it downloadable? So as you can see with this tooltip, it says virtual products are intangible and are not shipped. Downloadable products give access to a file upon purchase. So, if you're trying to sell, let's say, for example, an ebook or a video, it's going to be downloadable. All right. If it's not, it will be virtual. So if it's physical, of course, you want to leave these unchecked. Now, if you do downloadable, it gives you the option to add a file like in a PDF or a video course or something. But if you want to enter the URL, you would need to have some sort of extension that allows you to integrate digital products. But for now, to keep it simple, you can simply upload the file here. And of course, it says download limit and download expiry. OK, so after that, you can go to inventory and it has the SKU. If you have something like a physical product, you can put in stock status, in stock, out of stock, or on back order, sold individually. And of course, shipping. Shipping is only needed if you have a physical product. If you have a digital product, it's definitely not needed. Linked products like upsells or cross sells, meaning things that are related, but you can get people to buy more, basically. So cross sell, on the other hand, would be something that is related. So let's say, for example, that you are selling something like a water filtration system. A cross sell could be something related to that, such as maybe the filters or a different type of something that is actually needed. Of course, you can scroll down and enter the product description. Now, attributes will focus on that at a later video. But for now, that's the basics of adding a product. Now to the right hand side, you can also add categories, product tags, which we'll talk about later, but you also want to set a product image. So whatever enticing image that you have describing that product, you'll want to upload it right here. And of course, once you're done, you can simply click on publish. Now, before we go, I'm just going to simply enter 
some prices here. So we'll say regular price is $30, sale price is about $10. And we will cl simply click publish and we are good to go.